So we have a Sony, uh, this is a mini hi-fi amp system, MHCEC55. Um, if you turn the volume up uh, past a certain point, uh, it depends on how loud the, the music is, but it will actually shut off and the standby light starts blinking. It'll play at a low volume. You can hear the sound. Once you turn it up past a certain point, it will actually click off. I have a um, discovery so far. This little amp chip over here, actually, uh, the plug to the board that uh, leads to the amp chip has a pin called Protect. And uh, if I've desoldered that, then it will actually stay on with a higher volume. But if I, um, if that's connected, I'll go ahead and turn that on. You can see as soon as I touch it, it starts blinking standby. And if you uh, unplug the unit, and just plug it back in that'll reset it you can turn it back on but um so i've been tracing this and um this protect pin seems to go up on the circuit board here and it travels up here um it looks like there's space for a second amp chip i guess maybe more powerful models are available but this one doesn't actually have anything plugged in there um, and then it travels over here this first um, plug that is a VDO plus and ground uh, that plugs into the fan and the fan I've noticed doesn't go on um, but it it sort of seems like what's happening here is this pin uh, notice this transistor to the right. Um, it looks to me like this transistor to the right is supposed to turn on once it's uh, reached a certain volume. And uh, the uh, it looks like the output of that is driving or is supposed to drive the fan. But I notice the fan never turns on. And instead, the um, it it, um, it drops that uh, protect pin uh, down uh, from about uh, four volts to maybe two volts. And uh, with the the protect pin uh, desoldered, uh, the unit stays on. But with it soldered on, it it triggers it to shut off. So I've made a discovery. If we look in here on this fan connection. Uh, you can follow that down. There's a capacitor there. Um, it's C601. And if I take the um, meter across it, It's just a dead short. No, it's almost one ohm. So that's the output to the fan. And that C601 is actually... I don't see anything in the schematic other than that capacitor that seems like it could be responsible for that. So I'm going to desolder that capacitor and see what it looks like. So this is a 47 ohm 25 volt capacitor and it's definitely bad. It's um, testing as a as a short. So this capacitor has failed and this would certainly explain what we've been seeing. So let me dig up a uh, replacing capacitor and we'll try it in there. Okay, so I soldered in a new capacitor and re-soldered the um, 
protect pin on the amp chip. Uh, we're going to try this out and see what happens. I can uh, show the new capacitor. It's in there. I put a little blue ink on the top of it just to kind of point it out. But there it is underneath the plug. That's a, a good testing 47 uh, microfarad 25 volt. Um, so we can uh, plug this in and we'll see what happens. If this works, we should be able to turn up the volume and since the volume control apparently has a, um, it kicks on the fan at a certain uh, voltage in the output volume, we should be able to see that happen now. So let's see what happens. Got everything connected. The volume is at max. And I just want to show that, in fact, the fan, for the first time since I've seen this thing, if I turn the volume all the way off, the fan will stop. And if I turn the volume up past about 11 or 12, it kicks back on. So that new capacitor seems to be all that it was needed. So this is really great. I figured there'd be a, a transistor that was bad, but... Looks like it was just all down to a bad capacitor in that uh, fan monitor. So there you go. Hope this helps someone out. And uh, saves some of these uh, from going to the landfill. Thanks for watching.